Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and in this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily create and save lights and actions in Photoshop. So this is going to be a tutorial that is going to enable you to create your own custom made actions to fasten or speed up your retouching process or whichever thing that you want to do in Photoshop. And also you can easily create and save LUTs. LUTs are lookup tables or presets that are going to enable you color grade faster in photoshop so if at all you find the video helpful along the way hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel so right now we are in photoshop and i have the image to use for purposes of demonstration so the very first thing that we're going to be targeting or looking at is how you can create your custom made light and we're going to be trying to color grade this image in the way that we would love to so before you do any kind of color grading on the image always make sure the image that you want color grade only has the background layer and you have merged every layer that you have open within your layer panel in photoshop and after ensuring that simply come because we are going to start color grading in any way so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer change the blend mode to multiply and i'll simply take this down a little bit then I also come and I create a selective color adjustment layer and simply come and select the red channel and I'll simply take up the science just like that. Then I'll also come and create one more adjustment layer which is the hue and saturation and simply come to the master and simply select the reds and simply take down the lightness. And as you can see the image looks great. So we could also come and add a color balance filter right here. And we're going to come and simply add some kind of science to our highlights just like that. So just come the highlights and simply add a tiny bit of that. I think that looks great. So let's look at the quick before and after for this. So this is the before, after, before, after. Then if I told you wish, you could just come and add one more selective color adjustment layer. And you could come to the blacks and simply cool down the darks or the blacks of the image if at all you wish to and intensify the blacks. But as you're always creating the light, always make sure that you take every adjustment to the extreme because you always have the liberty or the option to always reduce on the opacity after applying the light. So right now we are done creating the color grading effect that we want to save as a preset to color grade images in the future and this is the before and after so just want to see how we can easily save it as a light or preset so for this case always make sure after color grading you don't group the layers for your color grading because when you group these layers you won't be able to save them as a light or as a preset to apply to images in the future so always make sure that you don't put this in a group so after ensuring that, the next thing is going to be saving it as a LUT. A LUT is a color lookup table or preset. So just come right here, here to file. And you're going to come to export and come to color lookup tables. So when you come to color lookup tables, you can always add a description for your LUT. And you can even add copyright information. But always make sure you set the grid, grid points to 32. And medium always has to be selected because we want the light to load faster within Photoshop. So the format has to be cube because the cube file loads faster within Photoshop. So I'm just going to sim simply click OK. So I'm just going to rename my light to maybe tutorial. Tutorial 2023. Light. And I'll simply change this to or choose a location where you want to save the light and simply click on save and it's going to save and right now the light has been saved so if at all i put this in a group and hide this for purposes of demonstration i'll simply select the background layer and simply come down here and simply choose or come to my color lookup and make sure 3d light is selected and click on load 3d light left click once again and choose the location where my light was saved. So mine is on the desktop and we named it to tutorial cube right there, tutorial 2023. And as soon as I left click on it, you can see it loads the color grading instantly. 
just like that so if at all you want to prove if at all it is the same you can see it is basically the same that and if at all the effect is not much like you want you can always double by simply duplicating this light and you will have increased the intensity of that light and if at all the light is too much you can always calm the opacity and reduce on the effect or the opacity of your light so we are done with part one which was about creating a light in photoshop to fasten or quicken the color grading process so next is going to be how can we speed up the skin retouching process for our images so just want to create a frequency separation action and this is going to be the same step that you can follow to create both your 16 bit and also your 8 bit frequency separation actions so you always have to have both so you have to create both the 16 and 8 bit frequency separation actions to apply on different bit depth of photos that you're going to be working on within photoshop so what we're going to do we are going to come right here to window and we make sure we have actions so it is going to open up the actions window right here and before you record the action simply come and create a set so when you create a set it means that the action is going to be stored or kept in this kind of set so i'm going to name this to try your action try your action just like that try your action that's the group that we want to save the action and simply click ok so after doing this the next thing is going to be to record the actions and in order to record the action always make sure that you only have the background layer and after doing that we're just going to come right here and we left click on this plus icon and you can rename the light or the action rather to what you want so i'm just going to name it to 16 bit fs 16 bit just like that so the frequency separation action we're going to be creating in this case is the 16 bit action and you can as well assign a function key or a shortcut so f3 shift and command is going to be opening or playing this action within photoshop and you can as well assign a color let's choose violet and right now we are done the, doing this and you can now come and record and as soon as you press record you can notice that it has started recording so everything you do right here is always going to be saved or recorded as part of the action so like we do for frequency separation we create two copies from the background layer and you can see it is recording that in real time just double click right there and name this to low frequency and you're going to name this to high frequency and after doing this we are going to come to the low frequency layer and simply hide it and come to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur right here so when we come to gaussian blur we usually determine the amount of gaussian blur we want to apply to the image so i'm just going to choose a random gaussian blur because this is going to be you are going to be able to change this later on as you're playing the action so the action is going to stop at the point when you have to determine the amount of gaussian blur that you want to put into the image so i'm just going to choose a random figure 6.8 and i click ok so after clicking on ok the next thing i'm going to do basically is we want the action to stop at this point so you simply come you can see this box right here within the action that we are recording simply click on it so it means that the action is going to be stopped at the point when you have to put in the gaussian blur so just come the high frequency layer now activate it and after activating it simply come down to image and come down to apply image like we do for frequency separation and in this case since we are recording a 16-bit action like i said you have to record both actions to be on a safe side because you're going to be working with different images so for a 16-bit image you select the low frequency layer invert and on blending is add the scale is to offset zero or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check and simply click ok and you can see the textures are on the gray layer and come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and after doing that we're just going to put this in a group and press ctrl g and you can rename the group to fs 16 bit so after doing that always open the folder so that you can simply come to the low frequency and now select it so after we have done that simply come down here and select the mixer brush tool 
and you set it up accordingly and after setting it up you can now come and stop recording the action so right now the action has been recorded and you can see that every step that we did has been recorded as part of the action so i want to see if at all the action is going to be working for this image so i'll delete the action or the folder for frequency separation and simply select this and simply hit play and you can notice that it stops at the point when you have to change the amount of gush and blood depending on the amount of textures that we have in the image and continue playing it and you can see it is going to create the folders for us and it is going to help us save time and fasten the touching process you can see it has selected the low frequency layer and also selected our mixer brush and you can just go ahead and start retouching right away so after recording the action if at all you'd love to save it after recording it for example just come to the folder icon right there and come right here to this option and you can come to save actions right here so when you come to save action you can see it is this is the folder in which the action has been recorded and choose the location where you want to save it and simply hit save so if at all you want to import the action into photoshop simply look for where you save the action and simply double click on the action to import it within photoshop or you can simply come to these boxes right these lines right here and you can simply come and select load actions and look for where your actions were saved in the first place so this is how to save create and save actions and let's to fasten your retouching and color grading process within photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more amazing trolls and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating